There is a new keyword coming to JavaScript. The keyword is using, and it's meant to be used when we initialize variables. Just like we have var, const, and let, we now have using. Using will be very useful for managing resources in your JavaScript programs to make them run faster. If we don't manage resources correctly, our program will take more memory than it needs, making it run slower or even crashing. Check out this example. Here we have a get users function where we are getting a connection to a database. We are running a query and returning the results of the query. It looks fine, but it has a problem. Can you catch it? There is a big problem. We are not closing the connection to the database. If we keep doing this across our code base, we're gonna keep creating new connections without getting rid of them, potentially overloading the database. Ideally, we should close the connection to the database when we are done using it. That is better, but we still have a problem. If for some reason the second line of our function throws an error and the query can't run, the code that is closing the connection to the database will never run. Again, leaving the connection open. To fix this, we can use a try catch finally block. If we do that, no matter what happens on the try and catch blocks, the finally block will always run, closing the connection to the database. The problem with this approach is that everywhere in our code where we use the database, we will always have to remember to close it manually. How cool would it be if there was a way to close the connection to the database automatically when it stops being used? That is what the using keyword is for. When we create variables, with a using keyword instead of let or const, they will be disposed once the variable is out of scope and not longer in use. Let's first understand how it works. Here we have a function get resource. This function is returning an object that contains some data, and it also contains a symbol that dispose function that prints by word. In our main function, we are creating a my resource variable with the using keyword and not let or const. We are then printing the data of the resource, which is hello world. And finally, we are calling main. Because we are returning an object with a symbol that dispose property and we are using the using keyword, JavaScript will consider it a resource. And automatically, once the main function finishes and the my resource variable is out of scope, JavaScript will run the code on the symbol that dispose function that will print by word. As you can see, the using keyword is half of the story. It is not enough to just replace const with using. We also need to write the code that will run when the variable is disposed of. And that code goes inside of a function assigned to symbol that dispose. Now that we know this, we can improve our database code. First, we have to modify the getDB function, which is the one giving us access to a resource. Internally, the getDB function is just connecting to the database and returning access to it. We're going to change it to look like this. Now the getDB function returns an object. The object has a connection to the database and it has a symbol that a sync dispose function that is closing the connection to the database. In this case, instead of using symbol that dispose, we are using symbol symbol that a sync dispose because our dispose code needs to use a sync await. Now we can change the get users function to look like this. We are now creating the db variable with the using keyword. And because we are using symbol that a sync dispose, we have to write await before using db. I know it's kind of weird to have two await on the same line. So remember that the first await is to await the dispose code and the second one is to await the code that connects to our database. After those changes, the moment the get users function ends, JavaScript will automatically call the symbol that async dispose function we wrote, which is going to close the connection to our database. So now, as long as we use the using keyword whenever we want to get access to our database, we can be sure that when we are done using that variable, it will always be correctly disposed of and the connection will be closed. The using keyword is very, very useful, not only for database connections, but also for dealing with files that need to be closed, streams of data, WebSockets connections, and more. The using keyword is not part of JavaScript just yet. The proposal for it is on stage three of four. It's almost there. If you can't wait and want to try it out, you can use it on TypeScript version 5.2, where it's currently available. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please like it, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. And click the link below if you want to learn JavaScript or TypeScript for absolutely free. Also, I just finished uploading the latest version update for the free Twitter clone with Firebase and React course, as well as the CSS Flexbox and Grid Layout Masterclass. So check them out by clicking on the link below. Onjana, kamzahago, sana hamnida. See you on the next one. Down me by you. Bye bye.